And welcome to the ITL Manufacturing Center Safety Orientation. The primary purpose for the ITL Manufacturing Center is to support the First Year Engineering Projects class Gen 1400, but we also host other upper level engineering courses who have a design and build requirement. My name is Mark Eaton and I manage this shop along with Cameron Meach and seven qualified student staffers. Let's take a look around the shop. It's comprised of two separate areas. This is the north side of the shop, room 2B40. Most of the equipment on this side of the shop is for woodworking and light metal and plastics fabrication. And this is the office. This is the south side of the shop, room 2B50. The equipment in here is strictly for metal and plastics machining by reductive processes such as milling and turning. This is where we store scrap materials that you can use in your projects. This is the main entrance to the shop. Up front here are our two vertical CNC milling centers. And this is one of two Hardinge HLV lathes. Here we have our CNC lathe and the other Hardinge lathe, as well as a three axis milling center, our two axis milling center, and our large engine lathe made by Summit. We conduct a variety of different workshops to help teach you how to safely use the equipment here in the ITL. We do this in the beginning of the semester and stop doing it usually around week nine so that we can focus on all of the needs of the students in the shop. Next, you must wear closed-toed shoes while in the shop. No flip-flops or sandals are allowed. Next, let's talk about the do's and don'ts for safety while you're in the shop. First thing is, safety glasses must be worn on your eyes at all times while you're in the shop. If you're a prescription glasses wearer like myself, you must either have wide frame safety glasses that fit over your prescription glasses, or if you have a certified pair of safety glasses like these, then you must supply me with the certification to prove that they are indeed safety rated glasses. While operating the machinery, your hands should be bare of any jewelry from the fingertips up to your elbows. You should remove watches, rings, bracelets, and tie back long hair and remove any kind of things that might get entangled in the equipment such as neckties and scarves and things like that. This is the front entrance to the shop. Just outside you will find the emergency phone. Use this phone exclusively to call for help in case of an emergency. It goes to a campus operator who will give the street address to the EMTs. Let's take a few seconds to look through the must list. Things that you must do to stay safe in the shop. Next, let's take a quick tour around the shop, the tour I like to call the Big Red Button Tour, to show you where the emergency stops are on each piece of equipment in case you had to shut it down in an emergency. These are our two CNC vertical milling centers. Their emergency stops are on the control panels 
Either one of these red buttons will stop this machine immediately in an emergency. This is our CNC turning center. Its big red button is on its control panel as well. The hardened lathe in the back of the room has its red button on this panel. Here you can see the red button on the three axis mill and on the two axis mill it's in the same place. On the summit engine lathe its big red button is on the base. Feel free to use your foot to activate it. The hardened lathe at the front of the shop has its big red button on this panel. Over on the woodworking and fabrication side, the drill presses have their red button here. This mill has no red button, but this switch will turn it off in the horizontal position. The table saw has its red button on the front of the machine. Note that the go button has a pin that prevents it from being accidentally bumped. So to remove it, simply do this and put it back in place before you leave the machine. The vertical bandsaw simply has a big light switch to turn it on and off, but it's well out of the way from being accidentally turned on, so it doesn't need a pin. The horizontal bandsaw has its red button in front. Additionally, the feed rate should be turned to zero to prevent damage to the machine. On the combination disc and belt sander, the controls are in front as well. The miter saw simply has a trigger, pull to start and release to stop. The CNC router has an emergency stop button on its control box. Thanks for tagging along on our shop tour and safety orientation. Hope to see you in the shop soon.